Welcome to another episode, Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak, Technical Sales Specialist with Lakeside Process Controls. In today's video, we're discussing Rosemount's 5408 non-contacting radar level transmitter. This is a part two, so if you missed the last episode, go ahead and check that out. But today's video, we are discussing echo plots, more specifically, Rosemount Radar Master Plus echo plot. Last video, we briefly looked at this. Today, we're gonna to run through each of the components so you have a better idea of what you're looking at here. So all of our echo plots look the same, where at the top left corner, we have our transmitter. Now, it's important to understand that this plot is read top down, just as if you were looking at your vessel. Previous generations of the software, everything was sideways, so you tilt your head, which made configuration and troubleshooting a little more difficult. Cool fun fact, depending on the antenna that you have, it will update on this plot accordingly. So if you have a parabolic antenna, you'll see a parabolic antenna there. Of course, if you have it configured incorrectly, you'll notice a discrepancy, you wanna go ahead and correct that. So that's where our transmitter is. Next, we have our Y-axis. So our Y-axis, again, is pre-configured and it's set up for the total height at which the transmitter is mounted. So in this case, it's zero to 30 feet, which would represent the bottom of the vessel to the top of the flange that it's mounted on. Most people set their zero to 100% range less than this total distance for safety purposes. So this can be illustrated at the zero to 100% mark. We have a long black bar to give a good visual indication of where the level is within this range. If the level goes beyond or below this range, it'll put the transmitter into the high or low level accordingly. Next, we have our surface peak. This is what we looked at in the last video. The important takeaway is how substantial this surface peak is in comparison to that background noise. This is thanks to FMCW technology. Next, you see another large peak above it, which has been suppressed either by the software automatically or by us during our configuration. This is likely a ladder or a high level switch or something that the transmitter sees. Uh, the important takeaway is that this echo is not moving. It is stationary, which is how the transmitter can ignore it and track the level as it moves through this region. Next, we have a blue vertical line. This is the threshold to which we ignore background noise. So it can be dragged sideways based off the level of noise we have there. Everything below it will be suppressed. We can actually also split the line and draw different shapes depending on different noise levels we see. So if we happen to see higher noise levels near the top of the vessel, we can draw that L shape to ignore those accordingly. Next, we have a little indicator which shows us the level, 65.5% in this case. You'll notice that everything below this point has been shaded in blue. This would be the product in the vessel. Now, blue indicates a liquid application and gray indicates a solids application. So again, this is a quick little double check to make sure you've configured it correctly. Up here, we have the date and time. You can go back in the software up to seven days. So it just lets you know what you're looking at. Last component is as we hover over different peaks, a little box will pop up letting us know where that peak is, either via level output or distance and the amplitude of that peak. This is great during configuration because if we're looking at the drawing of the vessel, we can confirm what these peaks are associated with. In this case, a pipe running through the vessel. These are the basics of Rosemount's Radar Master Plus echo plots. If you have any questions about Rosemount 5408 non-contacting radar transmitter or any other products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks for joining.